What is going on everybody? Welcome back. We are playing more Super Mario Odyssey. The phone call has been resolved and we can get back to trying to take out this brutal chain chomp lady. Oh, fuck off. Everybody fuck off. We just need to get back up there. I like the way he's got uh, San Diego Chargers colors. Or I guess now it's Los Angeles Chargers colors. The bluish white helmet. I wonder if you could do that without necessarily needing the guy. Let's try this again, but this time without as many fuck ups. The fact that there's no hearts on this stage makes it even more annoying. Yeah, we know. Let's skip this. Okay, we're not doing so well. I do like the fact that my mustache turns gold. Yeah, I can't believe there's no hearts on this stage. That's crazy talk. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. Let's... I think what we just got to do is just be a little bit more cautious. Do this again. Careful. Oh, Jesus Christ. The sensitivity. Alright. Let's, let's do this like we fucking know what we're doing this time around. Gotcha. Oh my god. <laughs> like literally the first second in and I'm getting fucking losing health. for me, the old bitch. Got you now, bitch. Fuck off. The same tactics from the first time around, they worked again. Poof. God, that was fucking annoying. And again, I can't believe there's no hearts on this boss battle. That seems... If they did that intentionally, I'm going to say that's a little rough, considering that every other boss battle had something like that. Alright, we back on the moon, boys. And I see purple coins at the top of that steeple. The Ever After Hill. Come on, fucking no, long jump. I'm going.
Just ends up like the scene from The Graduate. He's like pounding on the glass. Come here. What the fuck kind of ring is that? It's like some type of bondage collar. Hey, Pauline. Why are these people like... Were, were all these people forced to come to this? That's not a ring, that's a fucking collar. Demand now. Hello, people that were forced to come here. What? Oh, thank you, Cappy. Alright, I guess we're going downhill. They're like, oh, now you start at level one. Is it the same? F do I have to, like, do the, uh... Oh, that's cool. She likes suspension. Uh, crashing the wedding Mario. That's tacky even for you. So your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion? Not that it matters. Since you weren't invited, party crasher. So now it's time for you to make, like, a bouquet and get thrown out. Oh, damn, them fighting words. Is it boxing hat again? It's boxing hat again. Coming for you. Get fucked. That'll teach you. I can't control Bowser. I should be able to. I'm gonna run. Holy sh holy shit! How am I able to jump over that? This is like some Skyrim battle. God damn it. Again, no hearts. More dick punches. God, it gets faster. So many hats. Reminds me of, who was the one guy in Shovel Knight that was like, I need to have more hats. He was like, I'm a hat collector. Ha! Oh, he lost his wedding suit. Oh no. Peach, that's a very revealing wedding dress. Not going to lie. It's like your princess is in another castle. Now, can we control Bowser? What the? Oh, this is the cube thing. What the fuck are these? What the? What the fuck is going on? You should have. You should have thrown the hat on Bowser. Then you could have assumed total control. 
He's like, haha, juked you, another boss fight. Yep, called it. He's like, ha <laughs> Shit's about to get real. Oh, you're in the bloodstream. I like all the imagery of all the old Bowsers. Tell me Bowser gets a must. Yes. Oh, now we get to go fuck shit up. Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna lie, this ending is actually kinda cool. What hit me? I bet you there's a moon here that I was missing. It would only make sense if there's a moon here. Uh oh. oh I get to go into the pipe as Bowser? Alright, that's kind of hilarious. Whoops. Well, I overestimated my power. Oh, alright. It starts me way back here. How come Bowser never had any of these claw attacks when I was fighting him? He might have done better. God damn it. I bet you there's even probably like purple hearts here too that uh... Or not purple hearts, fucking uh... Uh, purple uh, whatchamacallit? Purple coins. Looks like a bayonetta door. The fuck is this? Am I gonna have to destroy the moon? I see the outside, we're almost there. What is this song? This is awesome! Everything about this is fantastic! Ouch. This is like Splatoon level of good music. What did I just break open? The Ark of the Covenant! <laughs> That's the greatest face ever! Shoot me! 
Do we just blast off at the speed of light? Just like a random electric bolt just flying through the sky. So like, does the moon collapse? A little bit of leg there, Peach. Oh, Mario. I don't know what the fuck happened. So weren't they, were they, they were brother and sister, right? It's not like it was like husband, wife, or boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh, we're on the moon. How about that? Kiss her. Uh, fucking Bowser. <laughs> touch it, touch it. Jesus Christ. I'm my own princess. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! See ya! <laughs> she literally took my ship home and left me! Why do you gotta do that, Bowser? Yeah! So yes, this game was pretty fucking awesome. A lot of fun. And absolutely a shit ton of replayability. The story was, you know, it's on par for a Mario story. Obviously it is, like, between this and uh, Breath of the Wild, I mean, I could see either of these games being game of the year. Uh... It's definitely for Switch, but, I mean, even overall, it could be Game of the Year. I wonder if they're going to do any DLC for this. I can't imagine that they would, because, I mean, the, basically, your your replayability and extended gameplay comes from collecting all, whatever, 900 moons there are. The onions! I'm wondering if these are stock photos, or if these are photos specifically from... My, my specific playthrough. But it doesn't really matter, because there's really no way to tell. But the game was a lot of fun. Apart from my terribleness towards the end. I re New Donk City, that's by far the best level in the game. Hands down, no questions asked. There was so much to do there. I'm really glad this came out, and I, I kind of hope they do a Super Mario Odyssey 2. Or another Mario game in the Switch's console cycle. But I plan on going back and getting all, or at least trying to get all of the available, both coins, the purple coins for each level, as well as the moons for each level. I feel like that's going to take me a little, uh, a little bit of time and energy, but that's okay. Because nothing worth having should not should or anything worth having should require time and energy. The dragon did seem a little out of place, though. That was very out there for whatever reason. I don't I don't know why they put that in, but it's like, hey, it's here. You would think that Mario would be like, or Peach would like be like, Oh, Mario, thank you for saving me, and you, you know, I love you too. And she's just like, I'm my own woman. There's so much to unlock with this, I'm going to be here for a while. And I believe the Mushroom Kingdom is actually one of the unlockable... Areas slash zones. Thank you so much for playing my game. Oh, thank you. 
And shout out to Charles Martinet, who's been doing the voice of Mario for the better part of 20 years, I think. Yes, yeah, so all these cubes are now unlocked. Or at least can be unlocked. Yeah, and then Nintendo making sure that you they don't get, uh, or no one else takes money away from them. You can now travel to the Mushroom Kingdom. Additional Power Moons are in stock at the shop. Music list has been added to the map screen. Oh, we at the Mushroom Kingdom, boys. This looks like it's just kind of like the congratulatory level. So calm, so peaceful. Trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. Why can I not get a regular hat? Like one that doesn't talk to me? Good thing it was that we saved our two dear friends. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us! I like our travels so much I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do. So many hats you need to meet. I bet if we collect even more power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. For starters, let's head up to Peach's Castle. I'll tell you what, let's head up to Peach's Castle to see what she's got for us. Wow, 100, 100 coins here as well. And like, I could see a whole shit ton. Well, for some reason I thought I could capture that goat. Or a sheep, I should say. Good day, friends. That's my jam right there. Alright, let's take a walk over to Peach's Castle real quick. Wanna grab those? Just see what she has to say. Did she ever bake me my fucking cake? Good day, Toad. Has gone missing again? Packed her suitcase and came. We walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? The, oh. Maybe she doesn't want to be rescued. Did anybody ever stop to think of that? Hey, it's Super Mario 64. Toadette. Yeah, like I wouldn't see these. Hey, Mario. Looks like you're on a big adventure. That's great. I hope you don't mind, but I've been traveling the world. Keep track of your achievements. I've also got power moons to give you as rewards for those achievements. Well, hey, you already completed Rescue Princess Peach. Congrats. Here you go. Hey, that's a star. That's not a moon. You also see the names of the power moons you'll get for all of your achievements. I'll add some hints to the power moon list, which you get by opening by pressing the map with minus and pressing Y. Okay, so it basically shows me where... Oh, these are all of the achievements. Uh, let's see. Bring peace to all the kingdoms in the world. Collect power moons. So these are the, like the achievement power moons. I think. Collect power moons... For power moons as Lakitu. Wow, there's a lot. Oh my god. These are just achievements. Just throw Cappy 5,000 times. Just boom, there it is. Power moon list, you can check what we've already collected. You know, just in case you need it. Well, I'll be right here when you want to achieve some achievements. I've gotten more. You achieve something new. You achieve it. world peace. I've I, I achieved peace in the Middle East. You got another one. Power Moon Knight. Capturing Novice. This, this is going to be a while. I'll tell you what, guys. I've had a blast with this game, and I am going to at least try to get through 100% of the game as much as possible. I know I, if I do get there, it'll probably take me many, 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 many hours. But let's end things right here as I go through. Oh, I guess I got all the achievements I could possibly get. Um, why? Yep. 
Wow, I'm like 20 checkpoints short from what I need. So yeah, we'll end things right here. I don't know what we're going to be playing next. Um, by the time this goes up, I don't know if Xenoblade Chronicles will be out yet. Or Xenoblade... I'm sorry, not Xenoblade. Xenoblade 2, I should say. Will be out yet. Um, I'm very interested in picking it up. I never played Xenoblade 1, and I'm not sure how much that's going to influence my ability to play and comprehend Xenoblade 2. But... Like I said, if you guys have not picked this game up, which chances are you probably have if you own a Switch, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, going out and getting it as soon as possible. Black Friday is right around the corner, and it is, you know, it may be on sale, it might not, probably not, considering how popular, and no point in marking it down if it's going to continue to sell. Well, until next time, guys, that's going to wrap things up for this playthrough. My name is Ben Jorna, everybody. That's J-O-A-R-N-A. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we do videos every day around noontime Pacific, which is around 3 p.m. Eastern. Holy shit, fucking Goombas. Uh, additionally, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Jorna Gaming, or you can follow me on Instagram, which is at Jorna underscore Gaming. Post shit on there all the time. And uh, if you have any comments or you had a good time with this, you know, feel free to leave a comment below. Hit that like button. Shit always helps out. Like I said, this is not a full-time job for me. I just do this because I can, and it's fun. I'm going to play these games anyway, so I might as well share the experience, quote-unquote. Oh, boy, this is a big world. Until next time, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.